Greetings, greetings, greetings and salutations one and all. Welcome, 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 welcome to the Night Shift. How you doing? Big ups to each and everybody who have it locked right now. Those tuning on tuning radio, the Night Shift with DJ Kevin Stew, RockTheBox.net and across the pond, one harm on the radio. Top of the morning to you guys over there in the UK. Big ups to you. Of course, if you have it locked on the internet via your web browser, you can watch live and in living color on PEMG TV and of course right here at the home of the night shift kevinstew.com and that is where you go and you get interactive because the stew pot is there just waiting for you to jump on in get the stew bubbling in just a few it's community and finance night big ups big ups big ups to you thank you thank you each and everyone for tuning in thank you for joining us and just do a f- do me a favor bring somebody along if you brought nobody with you when you came in, go find somebody. Now let me warm you up. New music coming at you from Enzo. Featuring Busy Signal. Track is called Sober. Of course, I want to say a big thanks to Paul C Media Group for sponsoring this segment of the show. When being in moment is priceless, give them a call. 754 
is like Vegas. What happens here? Stay right here when we're leaving. The zone of Enzo featuring Busy Signal. It's called Sober. And this weekend there were a bunch of people that were not sober. A carnival weekend here in South Florida. There were a few events going on. There was the second annual Caribbean celebrity basketball game. That was fun. If you missed it this year, you don't want to miss it next year. Trust and believe. The Miramar is waiting. If you have plans to travel, make it around that time. And next year it will happen at the end of May. Change a date. Talk about in the middle of summer. Uh, yeah, keeping it nice and warm. So, speaking of uh, nice and warm, <laughs> numbers to call, numbers to text to get you in touch 773 789 Stu, 773-789-7839 is a number that you want to use if you want to share some views or ask some questions tonight. And we definitely, definitely encourage you to do so. All right. On the line, none other than the man himself, the man of the hour, or any part thereof, Mr. Owen K. Ferguson, Esquire, healing out of Kingston, Jamaica, our legal advisor to the diaspora. Owen, big ups to you, sir. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Wait, I lost Owen. Oh, I'm hearing you. I'm wondering what is going on. Is you hearing me? No, 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 no. It's not. It's not. It's not from your side. Okay, you should be on now. You weren't coming. Okay, there you are. Um, you weren't coming through the system completely. You were hearing me, but we weren't hearing you. All right. So, good. See, yeah, we just love how all these things work out. You know, gremlins come out and they they fiddle with things every now and then, but we we have a fix for them. Big ups to host of Real Rockers, Mr. Marlon Burrell. Big ups to you, sir. Welcome to the show and um, good show again. Marlon is is reggae music edutainer extraordinaire, walking, talking encyclopedia for reggae music. And let me tell you, Mondays and Wednesdays, seven to ten. Not normal. All right, Owen. Yes, sir. How things in Jamaica, man? I'm doing all right. We're getting some getting some showers, uh, and that's always nice. So. Yeah, it's blessings. It's blessings. Oh, for sure, for sure. Everything is nice and green, and it's not even overgrown. So some yard up to down. Mhm. Loving the loving the rain. Well, it's 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 our as a result of um Michael passing by. Right, I understand that you're getting ready to deal with that. Uh, Not my side, you know. The, the West Coast and the Panhandle, uh, South Florida. With just, with just uh, occasional little bit of rain here and a little bit of rain there, and that's about it. <laughs> but um, the West Coast and up into the Panhandle, they're they're having an experience. All right. Um, a great for safety for everybody. Yes, yes, definitely, definitely. Um, what's been happening with the the state of emergency down there in in in? All right. So state of emergency continues. The government, as you said, was initially declared for fourteen days. That time has passed. Right. Going back to parliament. And Parliament has uh, approved a 90-day extension, so it takes us into the new year 2019. Um, so for the rest of 2018, the state of emergency, certainly the most recent one, will continue. Um, you recall that there are two others, so right. um, we have two so, currently operating at this point. So there's Kingston, and where else? There's not St. Catherine, 
Mm-hmm. Uh, which is uh, Spanish down on that side. Right. And there's also St. James, the parish of St. James is also on that state. Of okay. Now, how does this affect tourism? Well, what is interesting is that the one thing is the government was very clear about was managing the communication around what was happening. In fact, they went ahead and rebranded the whole activity as enhanced security measures. Mm-hmm. Not so much, certainly for the public uh, consumption. Um, of course, in law, it is a state of public emergency but right. by way of presenting it to the international media. Mm-hmm. It is uh, labeled as enhanced security measures. Um, generally, it is well received by the communities in St. James in particular. That's where most of our tourism is. Right. Uh, it has driven the murder rate down. And so citizens themselves are pleased about that. Of course, there's some discomfort around what it is doing to business. We're talking about restricting the movements and adjusting the closing hours and that sort of thing. But it's one of those trade-offs that citizens make in times like it. Well, <laughs> if, if, if in the long run, the country benefits, then I, I don't see where an issue is to be had. You know, it, businesses are complaining about closing up earlier. Okay, that's fine. It only means that people, if they want your product, will come out earlier if they can. Or the weekend business right. will, will boom. Because right. if they can't make it in the week, then they'll plan for the weekend because they want your product. So yeah, the behaviors have to change. But, and as you know, um, change very often comes with some pain and people grumble and complain. So right, right. <laughs> that, that, is, that is to be expected. Okay. All right, so what do we have on tap tonight? All right, so for this, you know, I want to talk about a little bit is what happens when someone dies and we use de- some deaths. Mm. So when a D-T-H leaves D-E-B-T. See, then uh, now, yes. And we have, we have provisions in the Jamaican law that speak to this, mm-hmm. um, in fact. It runs counter to the common phrase. The common phrase is debts die with the debtor. That's mm. not the case. Mm. Uh, that, that's not the case at all. So if, if a family member of yours passes, then any loans or obligations that that person has at the time of their passing uh, will remain outstanding and will um, have to be settled, um, usually by way of payment from the estate, meaning the assets that the individual owned, right? or if they made other provisions. And sometimes the other provisions are made, but certainly the legal position is that the, the debt, D-E-B-T, mm-hmm. remains on the books until it is settled. Okay. Now, Good evening, Joanna Marie. Good evening. Hashtag happy welcome, welcome, welcome to the show. All right, so you, you, you're saying if when an individual passes on from this life, essentially they pass on their bills to the ones that remain in this life. All right, now with the assumption that there, there are provisions like an insurance policy or some assets, that could possibly be sold to to pay off any outstanding debt. What if there's not? All right, so some other things that occur, especially in the nation of bank loans, is that lenders tend to make provision to consider the debt of their borrowers. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's not about insurance coverage, so there are often lenders will require life insurance and it comes to the lives of their borrowers and that life insurance will kick in if the individual passes and usually it's enough to get the loan. So, so that's one provision that very often is tied into especially the longer loans or the mortgage the 
parallels very often how a publisher of thought is called creditor life. So if the person, the borrower dies, the bank is not exposed because they can call on the insurance policy to liquidate the loan. So that's one provision that is in place. Of course, usually these loans also have some asset that uh, are secure in the loan. If it's a property loan, then there's a house or a land or something. Um, car loans will have an asset. So uh, the institution will usually look to that asset um, to have the loan liquidated from the proceeds of that sale. Again, that insulates the family from having to go into their pockets to pay off um, the debt. Okay. Um, so the, the lender takes out insurance on the borrower or they require the borrower to have insurance it is it is effectively the lender taking insurance out in most cases uh, but you do have the option from most institutions you do have the option to provide if you have prior uh, insurance policies that meet the requirements of the lender and they will usually allow you to assign the, that uh, policy to cover the loan provided you know all the the amount was checked out. In other words, the amount, the face value on the policy is enough to cover the outstanding debt. So, who, if 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 the lender takes out this insurance, who pays the premium? Right. Now, different institutions carry that in different ways. Some will share the cost with the borrower. Some pass the entire cost on to the borrower, and you are, as the borrower, required to make payments, sometimes at a lump sum, mm -hmm. or in some cases, uh, the premium is paid uh, monthly, along with your regular loan payment. So, but, all right. Because <laughs> that, that is interesting. If, if someone comes into a lender oh. and needs some money, it's because they don't have money. But right. the, in order to get the money, they're going to have to give up some money, pay for this insurance, in some cases up front, as you said. But they don't right. have the money to do it. So then it is now flipped into, in the loan repayment, you're paying for this premium. Right. But right. if they die while paying this premium, it is enough for the insurance to cover the balance of the premium as well as the loan? Right. So it usually is computed in such a way that the coverage on the premium, on the loan, on the, sorry, on the coverage on the insurance policy is enough to cover and liquidate the loan in full. Mm -hmm. And because these are collective policies, meaning the entire portfolio of the bank uh, is protected by the policy find that the, the, the risk involved to the insurer, to the insurer the company, the insurance company who provides the coverage, the risk to them is a little lower because it's spread across several thousand borrowers. And as such, the premiums are relatively low. You know, so okay. Maybe, okay. maybe a couple hundred dollars a month, you know, million dollars for instance, depending on the amount of the, the, the borrowing. And, and for but those people, yeah, question, yeah, sorry. So, so yes, it's enough to, to pay off the loan and um, the family will leave that debt. So, for those who are wondering if a couple hundred dollars is, is cheap for an insurance policy, we're talking about a few hundred Jamaican dollars. Jamaican dollars, yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> don't, don't, don't lose it just yet. And currently, the, yes. the exchange rate to the U.S., is something along the lines of a hundred and thirty thirty two dollars. Thirty three, thirty something there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And to the pound for all our UK listeners, um uh, more. it's 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 more along the lines of what, one eighty? Uh, in the one seventies last I checked. Okay. Um, so just just to to Add a little 
clarity to to <laughs> yeah the question yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe and the thing was uh, as i said um not that is it is not to be considered but it's relatively small usually uh, i'm aware of one and if one case in which a premium is something like five cents per hundred dollars of the loan also you know? okay but okay you're paying five cents per hundred dollars it's it really is not significant for this community. Especially given that it can relieve your family of this debt to any past. Right, right. Now, is it... How, how different could it be when it, when it comes to things like hospital bills? Right. So all liabilities, all debts that are owed at the time of passing... Um, Pass to the estate. I'll use the word estate. And they were referring to that part of you that is left behind after you have left, which means all of your assets mm-hmm. and all of your obligations, everything that was due to you, everything that you are due to pay, that constitutes your estate and that is held uh, on your behalf by. An executor, if a will is in place, or by an administrator, if there's no valid will. Um, so, with a hospital bill, as with other debts, uh, those are part of, have to be settled out of uh, whatever value is left behind. Uh, however, there's a unique element to hospital bills and funeral expenses. And that given the expediency of the situation, the law allows for those payments to be made from the deceased's those assets, mm-hmm. even as even before the estate is finalized. And so, if let's say, for instance, the deceased passed on leaving bank accounts then it's quite proper and many banks do facilitate that the family approaches the bank to say, we'd like to have this burial for our family member and we'd like to access the uh, funds on their phone that you have with your institution. And in, in many cases, you know, provided everything checks out, the banks will make the payment and uh, usually make it directly to the funeral home or in the case of a hospital directly to the hospital to settle those obligations because those are obligations that have to be settled before any beneficiary gets anything from the estate. So okay, it's usually okay. treated as uh, you know an emergency advance pretty much. Right. To, to ensure that they the deceased is properly taken care of, a proper arrangement, a proper So, in the case of, um, let's say there is a, a bank account, but funds are used up while the person is alive in the hospital. So now, funds are depleted. Right. Right. Oh, how, how does it go down? Right, so it means that the, I'm assuming in this case that the individual has some other assets, perhaps not liquid assets, that they have or, uh, or okay. um, real estate or so on. So there is some value left behind. It is not somebody who is a person of straw, but the person left some value, there's not a lot of cash. In that mm-hmm. case, the obligation still remains but because there's no cash available immediately, and you need to have a burial and all that, um, right. the executor, uh, the person who is nominated as such, um, could see to it that the individual is buried, possibly from contribution from family members, and that is then treated as an advance against any benefit that that individual would have received under the estate. Now, the, the harsh reality is that a lot of people pass on depleting all resources and almost literally leaving nothing. They used to rent where they live. 
Um, they don't own a vehicle. It was a lease. Um, mm. You know, coming down the line, where it comes to owned assets, yeah. it stops just about at the clothes on the back. Right. So in that case, clearly there's no, there's nothing to come from an estate. Then it would now mean that those obligations would fall on family members. It's not in a direct sense, but certainly by way of, um, certainly if you're talking about burial and clearing hospital expenses, you would want as a family member as best as possible right. um, to ensure that you know, proper arrangements are made. Um, because the obligation remains with the estate, however, it doesn't pass to family members in a direct sense. It only passes to the extent that it can be satisfied from the estate. So if clearly there is nothing in the estate and there is no, no assets left there, then it means that those debtors will not be fulfilled. Those debts will not be paid. As it, it will not be possible unless the debts were joined with someone, right. it will not be possible to compel that another person to pay those debts. So unless, let's say it was a mortgage, unless this property was acquired with a joint loan, then the other mm -hmm. party obviously would have that obligation continuing forward. Right, right. But if the obligation was your obligation only and your past, then it remains in your estate and if the estate is not solvent, meaning that there's not enough value in the estate to liquidate the debt, then the debt remains unliquidated, it remains unsettled, and those creditors will be unpaid. You know, you often don't hear of of creditors being left out in the cold, but um, this is exactly what happens. This is something now that they have to write off. But I guess yeah. they're they're they have things in place to cover such write offs. Well, formal lenders, banks, and institutions like that do make provision. So, um, in addition to their collateral arrangements, if it is that they come short, um, if, if the, the customer who has died, mm -hmm. um, then this is something that is worked out good enough or against their profits, etc. And um, they continue. Uh, in relation to other types of debtors, personal debtors and the hospital, etc., again, we just have to absorb those losses because there's no lawful way to compel anyone else. Right, to right. Make those Not unless those debts were jointly undertaken. So if for instance there was a guarantor for a loan, then yes that person now becomes bad one. Uh, again if the loan were a joint loan then not a party become bad one. But outside of that, if the deceased was the sole borrower and the deceased has no assets to claim from, mm -hmm. then the debt would have to be um, written off. All right. Now, um, Owen, I want to thank you for for bringing us some information on this. If people want to get more information or in a situation or know somebody in a situation where they, they need some legal advice in getting out of yeah. it, similar to this, please give your contact information once more. Okay. So that you can be reached. Okay, sure. So it's Owen K. Ferguson at hotmail.com. And the telephone is 876-840-5862. I thank you, Owen. Yes, sir. Really appreciate of it, sir. And um, of course, we'll get to do this again next week. Yep. Because it's what we like to do. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. All right, take care. Good day. All right, you too, man. All the best to the family. Thanks. Blessings. So, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Owen Ferguson, out of Kingston, Jamaica, our legal advisor to the diaspora bringing us information on basically
basically dead left. <laughs> All right, so we're going to take a quick little break. Thank you to Paul C Media Group for sponsoring this initial segment of the show. As we move into our GMAC Music Solutions segment, we're going to take a quick little break. When we come back, we're going to be going out on a Discovery Cruise. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going on a search. Let's see what we can find, yeah? All right. Pulsey Media Group, innovative streaming and recording, has done it again. A new way to get your business in full view of your neighborhood consumer through AdShare TV. It's available in your neighborhood today. It's easy. Just call us. 754-999-6020. Become a host today and place a TV monitor in a strategic location so it's easy to see. Get a one-minute video ad or longer that plays anywhere in our network. Can't be a host? No problem. For a few dollars, we'll run your 30-second video ad. A host can run announcement specials like buy one, get one free or discount ads. Let's turn your flyers into a 30-second video with music or a voiceover. Or let us create and run your video ad with a spokesperson. Take advantage of our early enrollment discount. Join us today. Your ad will be seen at least 30 times per day in your AdShare TV neighborhood. It's easy. Just call us. 754-999-6020. Adshear TV, part of Pulsing Media Group. Are you crazy about the music industry? You aspire to hit it big in music? Or maybe you've sweated out a soulful killer beat and are now stuck finding it's not as easy as it looked. Oh, but it can be easy for you with JTMC. We've been there, we know how it feels. So we solve challenges like production, promotion, marketing, branding and development, and more. With over 30 years of experience, JTMC is a one-stop shop for artists. We handle your graphic design, writing services, PR, as well as event planning, e-blasts, artist management and bookings, so also your website and social media needs as well. We're experts in using creativity to persuade audiences on behalf of artists, drawing on our diverse experience to create projects that connect with audiences intellectually and emotionally. Artist success is everything to us, and our years of experience and commitment will be behind you for every one of your needs. If you've got music for the world to hear, whether you're a new or established artist, visit us at jtmcenterprise.com. Roll out with Island Rock Music and have fun. Check out the quality apparel at islandrockmusic.com. Designed for you and your crew. Hear the music, feel the breeze with selected tracks and more. Available now from the online store at islandrockmusic.com. IslandRockMusic.com. Log on today and ride with us. Step in. These are roots vibrations. Step in. Matthew 28, 19 says, Go ye therefore and teach all nations. With this in mind and encouragement received during a South Florida media conference, the church links was birthed. The Church Links is an interdenominational worship service portal for churches, providing the tools to spread the word through technology in a cost-effective way. The Church Links www.dahchurchlinx.com Your links to worship and praise. Hi, this is Cara Manti, and you're listening to DJ Kevin Stew, and this is The Night Shift.
welcome back to the show. The man with his Santa Maria was as brave as a man can be. The son of Shadow. Check is called Columbus Light. Mm. Special thanks to GMAC Music Solutions for sponsoring this segment of the show. Bringing music to life. If you want stage production services, audio equipment, engineers, musicians, singers, DJs, 754-307-GMAC. 754-307-4622 is the number to call. Tell him, you can excuse that No worries, hashtag happy. I wish you'd hook something for me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You might think I don't like Columbus, and the truth is that you are right. Though his name will be always famous. For me, that man was a blight. He discovered North America. He discovered the West. Say good evening to Sir Deputy LLC, Sir Deputy Counseling Services LLC. Uh, thank you for my hydration station photo. The check is in the mail. Interested in what Serendipity LLC, Serendipity Counseling LLC does? Just go ahead. You'll find them. If you go to kevinstew.com, those of you who are not on kevinstew.com right now, if you go there, you look at the slider, you'll see Serendipity passing by. Just click on it. It takes you directly to their page. All right, so you hear me talking about Serendipity? It's them. And don't be afraid to tell them that I sent you. Just don't be afraid. <laughs> All right. So October 8th is recognized as Columbus Day in the U.S. And why exactly Columbus Day is, is celebrated is really puzzling to me after learning more and more about Columbus. <laughs> Getting messages here. I should keep playing Columbus slide. <laughs> so, um, Columbus Day is a U.S. holiday that commemorates the landing of Christopher Columbus in the Americas back in 1492 and Columbus Day um, was officially celebrated in a number of cities and states 
as early as the 18th century, but did not become a federal holiday until 1937. Now, for many, the holiday is a way of both honoring Columbus's achievements and celebrating Italian American heritage. And I know some people are going, wait, 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 Italian? But wasn't that a Spanish um, expedition? Yes, it was. But Christopher Columbus wasn't Spanish. Um, throughout its history, Columbus Day and the man who inspired it have generated quite a bit of controversy. And there are even alternatives to that holiday that have, are, have been proposed. And these proposals go back as far as the 1970s. Now, like I said before, Columbus was an Italian-born explorer who set sail in 1492, August of 1492, looking for Asia with backing from the Spanish monarchs, King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella. Okay, cool. So we pretty much knew that little bit of information. Columbus intended to chart a western sea route to China. But he also wanted to chart that course to India and the Gold and Spice Islands of Asia. Instead, on October 12, he landed in the Bahamas, becoming the first European to explore the Americas since the Vikings established colonies in Greenland and Newfoundland during the 10th century. Now, <laughs> we, a lot of people also thought that the Vikings were mythical. <laughs> they actually do exist. Now, let me ask you this. Pop quiz. Did you know that most educated Europeans back in Columbus Day understood that the world was round, but they did not yet know that the Pacific Ocean existed. And because of this now, Columbus and his contemporaries assumed that only the Atlantic lay between Europe and the riches of the East Indies. Well, off on a journey we go. Later that October, Columbus sighted Cuba and believed it was mainland China. In December, the expedition found Hispaniola, which he thought at the time might be Japan. And there he established Spain's first colony in the Americas with 39 of his men. In March 19, 1493, Columbus returned to Spain in triumph. Yay! Bearing gold, spices, and Indian captives. Yes, you heard right. Captives. The explorer crossed the Atlantic several more times before his death in 1506. But let's pause for a moment. So... You heard Shadow in the song just now. And if y'all need me to play it again, just go ahead and let me know. Go into the stew pot and, and let's get the stew bubbling. Tell me if you want me to play it again so you can listen to what Shadow is talking about in that song. Because it's not just fun and, fun and giggles. It's history. So, he, Columbus, went back to Spain with... Indian captives. Now, if you discover something, that means nobody else knew about it, right? So if you go there and you find people there, that means other people knew about it. So what exactly did you discover? 
It wasn't until his third journey that Columbus finally realized he hadn't reached Asia, but instead had stumbled upon a continent previously known, unknown sorry, to Europeans. So, he didn't discover it per se. He just made the Europeans aware of it. The first Columbus Day celebration took place, took place in 1792. Still can't figure out why. When New York's Columbian Order, better known as Tammany Hall, held an event to commemorate the historic landing's 300th anniversary. Taking pride in Columbus' birthplace and faith, Italian and Catholic communities in various parts of the country began organizing annual religious ceremonies and parades in his honor. Now, he wasn't a patron saint. So, religious celebrations, ceremonies, why? So these are the questions that pop into my head when, when I hear certain things and I I guess I guess you guys are the only people that I can bounce it off of. <laughs> because you, you, you give a guy a medium and what do you do? Use it. Okay, I, I will play it again for you. I will definitely play it again for you. In eighteen ninety two then President Benjamin Harrison issued a proclamation encouraging Americans to mark the 400th anniversary of Columbus's voyage with patriotic festivities. I still can't figure out why. Nobody says why. He wrote, on that day, let people so far as possible cease from toil and devote themselves to such exercises as may best express honor to the discoverer and their appreciation for the great achievements of the four completed centuries of American life. Um, he came to a land where people already existed and decided that they would take over the land. So that's the celebration. In 1937, President Franklin D. Roosevelt proclaimed Columbus Day a national holiday, largely as a result of intense lobbying by the Knights of Columbus. Get this, and I, I, I'm not sure if you all knew this. The Knights of Columbus was an influential Catholic frater fraternal organization. So, you have influence, you can make things happen. Maybe I need to do a study on how to achieve influence. Mm. There is something to think about. 773-789-STU, number you can use to get in touch. 773-789-7839. I do want to hear from you guys. Please, don't be strangers. Don't be shy. I want to hear from you. Um, KevinStew.com. The stew pot is there. It is also known as a chat room. Jump on in. Let's get things bubbling. Now, of course, with all the, with the recognition that of some <laughs> that hey, there were some people that were here before this Columbus dude stumbled upon our land. They're saying, hey, uh, we need some alternatives to Columbus Day. And because controversy over Columbus Day dates back to the 19th century, back when anti-immigrant groups in the U.S. rejected the holiday because of its association with Catholicism. Okay, so now we have religious strife. It's the land of the free. In recent decades, Native Americans and other groups have protested the celebration of an event that resulted in the colonization of the Americas. The beginnings of the transatlantic slave trade and the deaths of millions, not hundreds, not tens, 
millions from murder and disease. European settlers brought a host of infectious diseases, including smallpox and influenza, and that decimated indigenous populations. And warfare between Native Americans and European colonists claimed a bunch of lives as well. So the foreigners came and people died, basically. All right. Now, the image of Christopher Columbus as an intrepid hero has also been called into question. Upon arriving in the Bahamas, the explorer and his men forced the native people that they found there into slavery. And later, while serving as the governor of Hispaniola, he allegedly imposed barbaric forms of punishment, including torture. Divide and conquer kind of a thing. You come with the power, you take over. In many Latin American nations, the anniversary of Columbus landing has traditionally been observed as the Dia de la Raza, Day of the Race. The Dia de la Raza. And it's a celebration of Hispanic cultures and their diverse roots. In 2002, Venezuela renamed the holiday Dia de la Resis Resis Resistencia. <laughs> Biting my tongue, yeah. Um, <laughs> Dia de la Resistencia Indignia. Um, Day of Indigenous Resistance. And this was to recognize native people and their experience. And I know some of my Spanish friends are going to, Hispanic friends are going to send me some messages about that. Several U.S. cities and states have replaced Columbus Day with alternative days of remembrance. Alaska, Hawaii, Oregon, South Dakota, they all have officially replaced Columbus Day with Indigenous Peoples Day and have cities like Denver, Phoenix, and Los Angeles have also followed suits. Columbus Day was originally observed every October 12, but was changed to the second Monday in October, beginning in 1971. In some parts of the U.S., Columbus Day has evolved into a celebration of Italian-American heritage. Local groups, of ho at local groups host parades and, and street fairs featuring colorful costumes, music, and Italian food. In places that use the day to honor indigenous people, activities include powwows, traditional dance events, and lessons about Native American culture. Now, that is what really needs to be celebrated on this day. Not the fact that uh, a European came to this country came to this land or this actually not even this land this region and disrupted the flow of things no after the break i'm going to do that one y'all said you wanted it again I guess you're gonna listen closer now, right? Columbus was a mighty sailor. He sailed the open seas. He went down with the Caribbean. And he called it the West Indies. He said he found a new world. And he expected me to believe. But how could this world be new when it's much older than Adam and Eve? Columbus lie. Columbus lie. Columbus lie. Discovery. He said he discovered 
We're gonna take a quick little break. Uh, thanks to GMAT Music Solution for sponsoring this segment. As we roll into the JTMC sponsored segment, we'll be right back. When being in the moment is priceless, consider the ability to share that moment. If you can video it, you can broadcast it. And Pulse eMedia Group has the tools you need. Weddings, birthdays, funerals, graduations, church services, parties, seminars, you name it. Pulse eMedia Group can provide you with a secure medium controlled by you to broadcast your event. Contact us at www.pulseemediagroup.com for more information. Pulse Emedia Group, when being in the moment is priceless. JTMC Music presents the highly anticipated, much talked about, The Juggling Rhythm Volume 1. This classic rhythm takes on a new life with tracks from both established artists and introduces some incredible new voices. Get your dancing shoes ready with The Juggling Rhythm, featuring international reggae dancehall artist Missa Vegas, alongside Ian Sweetness, Ed Robinson, Jack Radix, Hezron, Dangling, Joanna Marie featuring Galaxy B, Denny Ranks featuring Jawiz, Amber Lee, Christine Alicia, Yishka, also the new sensations on the rhythm, Seal, Danger Lee, Marquis Skelenar, Zachary, available on all digital media outlets, the juggling rhythm, get it, get it, get it. It's Christine to representing for DJ Kevin, you see me I say I don't know, the boss, you see me I say DJ Kevin's too, and a night shift ready to show you it at the thing, turn up the thing loud. Whoa! DJ Kevin's too, at the heart of a champion. Never underestimate, just choose him. The silver line behind the dark clouds. DJ Kevin's too, believe him, and that's no doubt. Sell out the night shift ready to show up, listen to heart to talk. Loud, kill the beast. <laughs> show the sound of burning spear the track is called Christopher Columbus what a long 
from oh 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 I love it to go home We did not rape, we not go rogue Come on, great drive of Israel Come on, great drive of Israel Oh, that jam from that jam A holy bar mix up, mix up A holy bar pedo, pedo Listening to this, it makes me want to play Black Starliner. No, it's not that kind of a show, Marlon. I know what you're thinking. Not yet, anyway. So, we... <laughs> recognize that uh, Christopher Columbus really didn't actually discover the Americas and however there isn't a Vikings Day and I'm, I'm not too sure why not because the Vikings had actually visited the Americas like 500 years prior to Christopher Columbus doing it. But as we learn more and more about the atrocities that Columbus carried out though, against the people he found living in the Americas, the question beckons, why is his arrival celebrated? fact and it's you know you you can make a statistics out of anything a statistic out of anything um but a fact is that a lot of americans actually do not celebrate columbus day berkeley california is thought to be the first city to adopt indigenous people's day in 1992. South Dakota has celebrated Native American Day instead of Columbus Day since 1990. In 2014, Seattle and Minneapolis became the first major American cities whose city councils voted to approve a measure recognizing Indigenous Peoples Day. Since then, four states and more than 55 cities across the U.S. have passed resolutions to recognize the second Monday in October as Indigenous Peoples Day instead of Columbus Day. How many knew that? <laughs> yes, Marlon, she's hooking. She's a happy hooker. You didn't know that? <laughs> Uh um oh, okay. So some people have gone to tune in to, to catch the rest of the show. As as long as you catch the rest of the show, I'm I'm good. Um Columbus was a murderer and a tyrant. You heard two songs just now saying that very same thing. And this is a reason why a lot of people don't want to honor him. Take a look at some of the horrific things that he did. Like, after being um, attacked by over 2,000 natives, Columbus had three Indian leaders brought to him and then publicly beheaded them. Another native was also dragged in the middle of his village and the Spaniards cut off their ears in retribution for the Indians failing to be helpful to the Spaniards when 
fording a stream. So, thank you, Marlon. So, this is what is being celebrated. And if that wasn't enough, there's an account of the natives, how they were first enslaved and then beheaded when their Spanish captors under Columbus didn't want to take the time to untie them. Benjamin Keane, who is a historian of the Spanish conquest of the Americas, has found multiple sources confirming accounts of exhausted Indian carriers chained by the neck, whose heads the Spaniards severed from their bodies so they might not have to stop to untie them. They just cut off their heads to remove the shackles. Anti-Columbus sentiment can be found throughout the Americas. In Chile, protesters clashed with police in Santiago during an anti-Columbus Day march organized by, indig by indigenous groups and the 521-year anniversary of Columbus' arrival in the Americas, activists demanded the return of their ancestral lands and the right to self-determination. In 2002, indigenous people in Guatemala gathered in huge groups across the nation's highways, thereby shutting them down to protest Columbus Day. Y'all see a pattern here with groups uniting to get a common resolve? Oh, y'all missed it? In Spain... October 12 is known as Dia de Hispanidad or the National Day of Spain. It also coincides with the feast day of Our Lady of the Pillar, um, patroness of the city of Zaragoza and of Spain. Yeah, Marlon, savages. A military parade in the capital, Madrid, is a key part of the celebrations. Now, um, <laughs> I, are people, you you taking notes? I I just kind of had to stop for a moment there just to take a breather because it's 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 kind of crazy. You know, who who decided to do this? Again, it was a little influential group back there. Remember them? Yeah. The Prime Minister, along with Spanish royalty, joins a wide array of authorities who are invited to attend the parade. And other celebrations take place throughout the rest of the country. That's October 12 in Spain. In Mexico, October 12 is known as Dia de la Raza day of the race. Indigenous groups gather in Mexico City dressed in their community's traditional outfits and some wearing pre-Columbian clothing and headdress. And the festivities last all day, both in the capital and around the country. However, although viewed as a day of celebration for many, it has also recently been a day of a day chosen for protests, rallies, and street marches. Uh, many other countries celebrate October 12, or the nearest Monday to it. In, on, in Argentina, the holiday is known as Dia del Respeti, Respeti, Respeto. Oh, there's more to it. Dia <laughs> del Respeto a la Diversidad. It's a day of respect for cultural diversity. Oh, cultural. I left that out. So it's Dia del Respeto a la Diversidad Cultural. In Chile, it's called Dia del Descom Descombrimiento. Uh, see, I don't want to 
desecrate their language too much. Dea del desco descu descubrimiento. <laughs> Uh, where are my Hispanic friends? Help. Dia del descubrimiento de, dio de dos mundos. Day of discovery of two worlds. In Costa Rica, it's Dia de las culturas. Day of cultures. In Uruguay, it's the Dia de las Americas. Pan American Day. And in Venezuela, October 12th is Dia de la resisten resistencia indignia uh, day of indigenous resistance indigena yeah let me not spoil it too much the united nations has declared october 12 spanish language day um why a day to honor a language that unifies speakers of both sides of the atlantic the event was established by UNESCO, the United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization, to seek the, to celebrate multilingual multilingualism. <laughs> yeah, even in English language, multilingualism and cultural diversity. And only in the English language do they choose to use such a word instead of just saying to celebrate diverse languages and cultural or diversity with cultures and language. Ta da! In the US, this holiday initiated by President Roosevelt in 1937 actually may not last too long. As more and more cities and states decide to do away with it, it, it is dying. Columbus Day is dying. According to the Pew Research Center, it is already one of the most inconsistently celebrated U.S. holidays. Federal employees get the day off, but otherwise, workers in only 23 states receive a paid day off to mark the holiday. I know, I didn't get one today. Did you? Columbus Day is pretty much on its way out and there's even a petition to leaders in wa in washington to do away with columbus day and you can just go ahead and search for the petition to, uh, um, to replace um indigenous people's day so you, you gotta it's a petition to replace columbus day with indigenous people's day can just search for it using whichever search engine that you prefer. Look it up and sign the petition. Basically, if you do not agree with the enslaving, the torture, the pillaging, then go on. Sign the petition. Either you stand for something or you fall for something. <laughs> One of the two. The choice is yours. But which one are you going to stand for? And which one are you going to fall for? <laughs> um, I, have, I have two songs here and I'm trying to decide which one of them I want to play. All right, we're going to go with this one first. So that really covers what we have to talk about with, with, with Columbus Day. It, was there anything that you didn't know? Again, Columbus Day has been around from 1937. And... Um, let me see if I can find it real quick. Knights of Columbus. Right. That's who they are. Got the, uh, the proclamation of Columbus Day back in, with, in 1937 from uh, President Roosevelt. Franklin D. Roosevelt. 
and their Catholic fraternal organization that had a lot of influence. My question is, do the Knights of Columbus still exist and do they still have that kind of influence? This is Christine Alicia. The track is called Rise Up. Every man will have a lesson, every man will have a turn to make his own decision and to practice what to learn. Check your heart and know to every day you walk this earth. Remember, life is given, make a difference in this world. Away from your slumber, away is relied, recall your makeup. Who cares to give to every man? The choice is yours to move Jedi. It's called Red Line. Repatriation is not the answer. This evil is spreading everywhere. This new world order is like a cancer that's killing the children and they just don't care. They gave us no choice but this revolution. So long we've been out here keeping the peace. They crucify us in different ways, especially by the hands of their police. Cross the red line, yo. Them done reach the deadline, yo. Them done reach us long time, yo. But then so many still chanting peace. We'll get rid of this game, mind, yo. That just can't be clear, mind, yo. Too busy living in fear, mind, yo. So many dying, not sure in these streets. Black fathers getting gunned down in these streets so that they can achieve what they're looking for. What they want is an uproar in these streets So that they can impose their martial law What we need is justice for all of the crimes Committed against your children in these here times He 
equal rights and justice for all of the years of our bloodshed and our tears. Them then crossed the red line, yo. Them then reached the dead line, no. Them then preach us long time, yo. But then some in this still chanting peace will get rid of the scared mind, yo. That just can't see clear mind, no. Too busy living in fear mind, yo. There's so many dying. Concentration can come probing in the streets Martial law enforced by soldier and police Nazi Germany by way for the hate of speech Also we know say the end of mankind and reach The world are the cross border straight far and wide Their agenda push civil war and genocide And no matter where you run you cannot hide Just know say that your children will not be denied Cross the red line now Them then be the dead line now Them then be Long time, yo But then some of these still shots in peace Will get rid of this scared mind, yo That just can't be clear mind, no To do to live in this fear mind, yo So many times, no turn it Taking it one day at a time Everything I want to thank JTMC Enterprises for this past segment. The Zone of Slash. The track is called One Day at a Time. Running, come and roll in the price. Even though the road is so rocky, I'm still gonna try. Cause mama never raised me to be no loser.
track was new music from Slash called One Day at a Time. As we roll into the Wake Up and Live sponsored segment. Sir Rockwell should be in a little bit of a better condition to talk tomorrow. He was really hoarse today. But the show went on nonetheless. Big ups to Sir Rockwell. Hope you're feeling better, bro. Joanna Marie. It's, um, this is Joanna Marie, and it's all about DJ Kevin Stew on the night ship. Hmm, you feel for some stew? Check out Kevin Stew. Yeah. Hey, babe. You know, I really want Yeah, you check me speak. out. Yeah, I like the way you feel. Mm. Do you, Joanna? We're gonna okay. Play it on. Right on early cause the heat is on And I know that you're ready Let us lay it on now Now that we are moving in the groove uh, The number one song right now on, on the RDD Top 10 Even if it hurts Jonah Marie's passive aggressive tune came out and was passive aggressive yes. and then the pen got to write it and exposing Mr. No use. Joseph Grindstone the son of Hope and Lindo it's, it's called on the new management I can see you smile again it's a new beginning now you're winning Under whose management though, hold on. Feel so great, you're tired of the argument. I tell you we need to talk, you know, hold on. You're stepping out on faith under new management. Yes. And it feels so great. You're tired of the use and abuse. Feeling neglected and taken for granted. It's no use to be lingering on when the feeling is gone. Too late is the cry, he should 
should have given you status to make you feel special Instead of living a life I went instead to fuck You know furniture And no tree never growing on your face You never know so That's right, Marlon In your corner Who could I do with it? No passiveness The arguments, yes You're stepping out on faith On the new management now and it feels so great You're tired of the arguments yeah. Now you're free at last It's like a weight off your shoulder Thank God you survived A happy life Is what you were after And now you're living the life You're too blessed to be stressed No more fuss and fight It's a new beginning You're walking by faith And not by sight you're winning I went it's take you fuck You know furniture And the tree never growing on your face It never knows that you have a good friend in your corner Who could I deal with the case? You say you're tired of the arguments yes. You're stepping out of faith On the new management now And it feels so great You're tired of the arguments Arguments Some people go under their own management, you know. And I said, listen, don't get it twisted, you know. I wear the crown. It's on a Kaylan Arnold. minutes to the top of the hour which means I have about 18 minutes before I get out of here Try to shoot I down. Listen, ladies. You see, if you know you have a crown, and you know you require certain levels of treatment, don't be afraid to demand it. For all my queens out there. I respectfully acknowledge thee. I'm not the kind of girl you can win in one night. 
fool me with your lies Oh no, I'm not that type of girl I'm not the one you call 3 a.m. in the morning Just because you're lonely Oh no Baby, you know I Ain't in no rush Let's take it slow If you can't wait Then boy, you got to go Dealing with me There's one thing you need to know Your wine and your dime Take me for a good time Introduce me to your mama Call me when you wanna plan forever It's not just a physical thing Mentally boy, you have to stimulate You better know I say I'm a lady Oh, baby boy, you know I ain't in no rush Let's take it slow take it If you can't wait Then boy, you got to go You're dealing with me That's one thing you need to know So there are actually some kings that haven't found their queens yet. Those are still searching. This is on a King Charles. Still searching. Kevin Sentinel said that. I did hear Kevin's crew. Pull up that song, them like it, it bad. Hey, the tune bad for real, you know. Trust and believe. Oh, when the sun goes down and the moon gets bright, and everybody in for the night, me need some company to make the mood feel right. Someone if you squeeze up tight, yeah. Me need a nice empress to look good in her dress, and once there's his mind, me give you all access. Come and we take a ride, come and we drive out, just are you alone? There's no contest, but until then, I'm still searching for true love. Take a show, choose for this town Me a the king, so I you feel wear the second crown Me a go pick your way up and when I come down hey. Because of you, me like Me a sit down and I pray to make you be wife So do me right and make sure you be right Me a tell you how me feel on a Tuesday night oh, oh. I'm still searching for you Yeah, it's Tuesday somewhere, don't worry about it Are you out there? Are you out there now? Maybe we give you a good loving and you not play wrong. Are you out there? Are you out there now? Maybe we give you a good loving and you not play wrong. Are you out there? Are you out there now? Maybe we give you a good loving and you not play wrong. Are you out
This is Corey. Life ain't no good without you. Huh. You sheltered me from harm. Kept me warm. His rendition of everything I own. G-Mark His rendition of things you say you love things uh, G-Mark ran out On the court on Saturday In the Caribbean Celebrity All-Star Game Can't last too long away Had to wonder for a minute If I have to bring in my oxygen tank Big up, Steve Mac. <laughs> You're gonna Things you say you love You're gonna Can't last too long The way you are flirting Can't last too long The things you are doing Wonder Twins. Bye bye. I can't get love and affection. This is 
Shauna Dazzle. Which Wonder Twin, you might be asking? You have Shauna and you have G-Max. Put them together, you have the Wonder Twin. So I try to be strong and stand my ground. I can't wait till they get behind the mic in the studio and do a duet. Ladies and gentlemen, it'll be something. Cause when I need you, you know when to be found. No more lies on your sad stories. Cause I have heard them all before. This is that track, No More Lies. Five minutes to the top of the hour. Don't even try to call me. Come get your luggage from my door. I've got one line to give and I'm gonna give it to someone who'll always be around. Yeah. To love and to and to take care of me. Make this house a happy home. And I'm glad I'm not the only one waiting for that duet. Like here, the track is called Good Man. Tender. He cares for body, soul, and mind. 
Just keep a beat. It's on up, I didn't This is what I'm gonna bounce out with tonight. It's like it knock me off my feet. I got a wild tree for you tomorrow, don't worry about it. Just in this is on it, Brissett. That's what it's called. I like it too. I love it when you call me on the phone tonight. Your night. You know I'll be on fire then. I want to thank you all for your participation. Thank you for your support. Catch you tomorrow at Healthy Love. Same time, same place. 10 p.m. Eastern. KevinStew.com. Radabox.net. Paul C. Media Groups. PEMG TV. And all the affiliates taking the show. Good morning, good afternoon, good day, good evening to you. Good night, wherever you are in the world. Until later. On fire. the ability to share that moment if you can video it you can broadcast it and Pulse eMedia Group has the tools you need weddings birthdays funerals graduations church services parties seminars you name it Pulse eMedia Group can provide you with a secure medium controlled by you to broadcast your event Contact us at www.pulseemediagroup.com for more information. Pulse Media Group, when being in the moment is priceless.